first thing we're going to do is pick her cover, which Jenny has already selected which images she wants on her cover. She wants this image to basically go around the whole cover, and then this one is this one here is a smaller one on the back. And I have a number of templates um, in the pano panorama section all the way at the bottom. I scroll down to the panoramas, and what I want are the panoramas um, with two images. So I'm going to go pano one, pano two, and I want one with uh, one horizontal going all the way across and a vertical inset for the back cover. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to take this first image, drop it over there, and if I want to reposition it, I hold my Option key and just drag this to where I would like it to go and ProSelect gives me this really handy um, line down the center so just in case her face with her eyes are going across the center I can move it out of the way. Um, that comes in really handy. So I'm going to put it oh right about here and now I'm going to select this image to go into the inset here on the back and this is going to be the cover of her book and at this point I'm going to add a style and I, I have 12 different style sets that I use. Um, I let my clients select what style set. I have a book of samples at my studio and they pick out what they like. Um, Jenny chose the summer and I'm just going to go down and pick a nice little um, sage color to match the grass and We'll just go to the sage. Just any of them will really work. It's just a small border that it's showing up on here. I'm going to go into a little more detail on the next image where we can see it better. So that looks good. We can go back here. And at this point, I'm going to switch over to the squares because the first page inside the album is a half of a double spread. So I am just going to go back up to the top and my images are in order of her outfits which is how they were shot and selected and if you're doing a wedding they'd be in chronological order um, it makes it really easy to design so this is going to be the cover in the first image um, a square opening and let's choose this one and drag over, it's a vertical image, but I can hold my Option key and position it nicely in the square. That's kind of nice there. And at this point I can select the styles. Now, Jenny has already selected the summer collection, but just to give you an idea of some of the others, this is the Baroque, and you can see they are um, separated by colors so I can go and scroll down to whatever color grouping I want to use to make it faster. I could just cycle through all of them. Um, then there's see the beachcomber if you do any beach portraiture or beach weddings these are really awesome for that. I do quite a bit of beach photography living here in Florida and the books just come out incredible. Clients really love these. The images are subdued enough to not compete with your your portraits or your wedding pictures. Um, so those, those are the beach. And then we have Brighton, which is very, very popular. I use this one a lot on boudoir. Um, you can see we have the ruby colors, the chocolates and the bronzes, the greens, the golds. Really a very versatile collection. Um, there's fall, which of course is in the fall colors. And I'm just going to hit a few random ones quickly. Very pretty. I use this one quite a bit. Um, Metallica is very, very popular with high school seniors, especially boys, um, all different colors to go with just about everything. And these, you know, when you print these on metallic paper, it looks just like metal. It's really very, very cool. Um, so there are, all in all, go back up here, 
There's 12 different collections. Each collection has 50 different um, styles within them. The vintage is very popular as well. And I'm going to go to the summer collection, which is what Jenny selected. And because she is in um, browns, I mean, almost any color in here will go. But let's go down to a skin tone. I have a whole group of peach. That, and that looks really pretty with that. So let's just say OK. And go back to our double spreads. And now we're going to see how many images we have left in this um, outfit. And um, I'm going to for the next one, I'm just going to use these next two images because these are two favorites. I'm going to go down, select another pano down at the bottom. Now, now in a new version that ProSelect's coming out with, you'll just be able to type in how many openings you want, and ProSelect will bring up all the templates you have that will work with those images you want to use. So, But for this one, I'm going to go to, um, let's see, a horizontal and vertical and let's use oh let's use this one and I'm gonna just take this one like that and this one like that and looking at these images, I'm thinking it might look better if it was flipped the other way, so I can just do that if I like. And I'm going to just hold my Option key and scoot her down just a little bit, like that. And the, the line comes up, letting me know I'm safe, where the fold's going to be. And we're just going to select, um, let's go on down to the olive colors, let's see, because... These are kind of olivey, and I'm just going to cycle through the olives till I find one that looks good. That's looking really nice, actually. I like this one here. So we'll just go on up. And now you can see when you use images, it gives you this little book icon that tells you they've been used. But if you make a mistake um, and try and use one again, it'll let you know you made a mistake and ask you if that's what you really want to do. So right now I'm gonna we got one, two, three, four, five, six images left in this outfit. We have two horizontals and four verticals. So I'm gonna go down to the sixes. And the H comes before V so I have two horizontal and four vertical and let's just choose that one and like I said if we try and use one that we've already used before it's going to give us a warning this image has already been used you sure you want to use it no I don't want to use it again so I'm going to go down and select my horizontals and put one here and one here and that leaves me my four verticals and I'm going to select them all at once and just drag them over and ProSelect will populate it where you want. You have the option to hit your option key and you know adjust them a little bit. Now this one here kind of stands out like a sore thumb because it's blue and all the others aren't. So I'm just going to double click that and change this to a sepia or black. Let's go with sepia and go back to our album page much better and now I can go in and select uh, let's see let's pick up marigold because she has this these this yellow belt and some really nice colors with that go down here and I'm thinking that looks really pretty I like that what else I'm going to go with this one. This is a little more subtle. I like the way it looks. And go back to our next. And you can see how fast this can work. 